Here's a main rack consisting of a 5 amp power supply, a 315 Profinet CPU, a 32-bit digital input module, a 16-bit digital output module, an 8 in, 8 out digital module, and a two-channel analog input module. We will need the module's order numbers, and you can learn more about this in the video on finding S7300 order numbers. We'll use this chart with model numbers and order numbers to help us as we move along. Right click on your project, insert a new object, Somatic 300 station. You may rename the station if you like. Let's call this one my underscore station. Double click on my station, then double click on the hardware icon. Drop down the Somatic 300 list, drop down Rack 300, and double click to insert a rail. Resize the windows as necessary. Drop down PS300. Highlight the first 5 amp power supply and check the order number in the lower right box. Looks like this is the one. So double click to add to the rack. Drop down CPU 300. Drop down CPU 315-2PNDP and double click the version number. The Ethernet dialog box opens. We'll change this address to 192.168.111.102 to match the network this CPU will be used on. Click OK. Slot 3 is reserved for a special interface module that's used to communicate from one main rack to a second tier main rack. It is not common to see this used anymore because Profibus is typically used. So we'll move the highlight to slot 4. Drop down DI300. Select the first 32-bit 24-volt module and check the order number. This is the module we're looking for, so double-click to add it to the rack. Drop down DO300. Highlight the first 16-bit 24-volt module and check the order number. Continue down the list until you find the correct order number. It looks like this is the one. Double-click to add it to the rack. Drop down DIDO300 and search for the correct order number. Double-click to add it to the rack. Drop down AI300 and search for the order number. Double click to add it to the rack. Click the Save and Compile button. This compiles the hardware configuration data and saves it in the